crumpets. Perfect with a blob of melted butter, but why are they full of holes? Well, I'm all about the crumpets. I want to know how you get the holes in crumpets. Machinery is all that. Oh, it's like a... Oh, it's like a crumpet hole punch. Basically, yeah. Um, I suppose they must have some sort of grid, to, grid or griddle to cook them on. Oh, so it's a special pan. Yeah, it must be. The machine's got kind of some uh, extension when pushing into the dove. Luckily, we've got a chef on the team. But Matt's never made crumpets before. How on earth do you get those lovely little bubble tunnels, you know? I mean, they're like bubble chimneys, tunnel. aren't they? Yeah. Shall I show you? You sound confident. I am confident. Come on, yeah. let's go and make some top crumpets. <laughs> a crumpet is made using a mix of ingredients similar to those in bread, only wetter. Yeast is the all-important ingredient. So let's leave that. We'll put it somewhere warm. That's warm enough in this kitchen, I reckon. Fermentation of the yeast needs the perfect temperature and conditions to work properly. So have we achieved it? Oh, gosh, that's, like, doubled in yeah, size. Yeah, you see the little bubbles on top? Ah. Right, so our next stage... Matt's going to try cooking them for five minutes on a medium heat. I reckon he's making this up. <laughs> oh, Excited about they these. Look very impressive. Has he cracked it? Oh, delicious. Hmm, something's not quite right. I can't really see the holes. It's just a big, dense, spongy mess. Frame you out. It tastes amazing. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Do you think we should put this to the crew? Have a little bite. Here you go, Al. Give this to Al. Ooh. Do you know what it's like? What? It's like a delicious it's crumpet. It's like the Yorkshire pudding used to get at school that hasn't quite risen. <laughs> it is. To find out what lies behind our crumpety crisis, I'm heading to the outskirts of North London and a £500 million a year bakery business. That is serious dough. I'm meeting manufacturing manager Vasilis Nikolousos. Good morning. Morning. Bas? Lovely to meet you. Shall I put that on? Yes, please, and then I'll take you and show you what it's all about. After you, Kate. Oh, that smell! <laughs> That's, this is huge. It's about 32,000 square metres. Incredible. They make 4.7 million crumpets a week, and somewhere in this loafy labyrinth... Oh, I can smell something cooking. I'm hoping to find the secret of the crumpet. So what goes into this machine? So we have the flour, we have water, we have yeast, we have some brine, some bicarbonate of soda goes in there. This is where once we've mixed all the, all the ingredients, and then pass them down to a fermentation tank where they, they're allowed to sit and ferment. So we control temperatures at around 40 degrees centigrade. That's what generates the bubbles. The bit that people forget is temperature is critical. Take note, Matt, fermenting at room temperature is where we went wrong. And so how long do you leave your mixture fermenting for? Oh, that's another top <laughs> secret bit of information, isn't it? It is. Vass wants to show me how they make this bubbly batter into something that actually resembles a crumpet. Uh -huh. OK, this is looking more like a crumpet. And if you can imagine the heat of the hot plate, is actually causing those bubbles to expand. The steam that's being generated behind them is pushing them up through the batter. What you get is a chimney effect. And it's the steam pushing the bubbles up that causes the flutes that make the holes in your crumpet. Ah, OK. Looking at this crumpet conveyor belt, I can see that Matt's frying pan wasn't really up to the job. I can see some perfect chimneys forming. Yeah, they're there. Now for the finished product in the crumpet cooling room. It is nice and cool in here. Look at this. My goodness. Perfectly formed crumpets. That looks nothing like what Matt and I made. Have a taste. Oh, I'm in crumpet heaven. <laughs> that is divine. So it's all about creating highly controlled conditions. The temperature for fermentation is critical, but so is how long you ferment for. The experts aren't sharing that one, but Matt reckons he's cracked it. Look at that centre. Look at all those chimneys. 
that looks amazing. I even fed them to my two teenage children and they said they were nice. And they don't lie. They don't care about upsetting anyone.